Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below hashtag 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 Java RPC, Remote Procedure Call, Tutorial. Remote Procedure Call, RPC, is a protocol that allows a program to execute a procedure, subroutine, on another address space, commonly on another computer on a shared network. Java provides several libraries and frameworks to implement RPC mechanisms, such as RMI, Remote Method Invocation, gRPC, and others. In this tutorial, we will focus on Java RMI, which is a core Java technology. Hashtag 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 setting up Java RMI. One prerequisites, make sure you have Java Development Kit, JDK, installed on your machine. You can download it from Oracle's website, https colon slash slash www.oracle.com slash java slash technology slash java z hyphen jdk11 hyphen downloads dot html. 2. Directory structure, create a directory for your RMI project. Hashtag 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 step 1, define the remote interface. The first step in creating an RMI application is defining a remote interface. This interface declares the methods that can be called remotely. File, remote interface .java. Hashtag 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 step 2, implement the remote interface. Next, we implement the remote interface in a class that extends unicast remote object. File, server .java. Hashtag 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 step 3, create the client. Now, we will create a client that looks up the remote object and invokes the remote method. File, client.java. Hashtag 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 step 4, compile the code. Navigate to the directory containing the Java files and compile them. Hashtag 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 step 5. Run the RMI registry. You need to start the RMI registry to enable clients to look up remote objects. You can run the RMI registry using the following command in the terminal. Make sure to run this command in the directory where your classes are located, usually in the root of your project. Hashtag 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 step 6, run the server. Open another terminal window and run the server. You should see output that says server is ready. Hashtag 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 step 7, run the client. Finally, run the client in a separate terminal window. You should see the output. Hashtag 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 conclusion. In this tutorial, you learned how to create a simple Java RMI application. You defined a remote interface, implemented it in a server, and created a client to call the remote method. Java RMI is powerful for building distributed applications, and with this foundation, you can extend your application to include more complex interactions. Hashtag 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 additional considerations. Security, be aware of security configurations when deploying RMI applications, especially in production environments. Error handling, consider implementing more robust error handling, especially for network-related issues. Performance, for larger applications or more complex data types, consider serialization and performance optimization techniques. Feel free to experiment with the code and extend it with more features like additional methods, complex parameters, etc. Happy coding!